So I actually ended up cutting the video in half and making a part two just because I kind of wanted to give my closet a little bit more love. I felt like the file was just getting way too big. So this is a part two. So welcome back. If you guys are curious about part one, you can definitely check it out. But yeah, this is part two. So let's just look at just strictly at my actual closet as opposed to the main rack. Okay, so this is the main closet. So down here, I have a slippers that I have more than I should. I really wanted to get the scruffettes, and I ended up buying a bunch of dupes before I finally had the courage and to pull the trigger on the scruffettes. Never again. And next time, I'm just gonna buy what I want. Cause like, look, now I now I got like taking up Will's side. It's ridiculous. Up here, I have like dressier clothes type of clothing that I haven't really gotten around or had the courage to pull the trigger on decluttering. So for the time being, it's just up there. But this is like work clothing, like more professional clothing. I work from home now, so I don't really touch it, but you just you never know So I'm just like I'm gonna be conservative and, and hang wait up on that and I have like my bags My main driver bags my long champs and my coach bags and my uh, Louis Vuitton boxes So just ignore that. But yeah, I mean that my closet I really I'm really gonna work on this like I'm I'm in my curating era, but I just wanted to be realistic and show you guys like what it actually is looking like. So this is kind of primarily where I keep a lot of my blacks. I don't really like wearing black. Like it's a flattering color on me, but it's not one that I love. So yeah, so let's go in order. So I have a pair of Lululemons. I don't know what model this is. It's not the classic. Um, it's the high rise and something else. I'm not sure. It's not the classic, but it's very low key with the black. Like I love that. I love when the logo is low key and nobody can see it. Then I have a pair of TNA butters. I have to get around to wearing. As you guys can see, black is not a color that I gravitate towards. So I haven't even worn this yet. I know it's uh, kind of embarrassing. Then I have a little set. Like it's ridiculous. With black, I can't even see what we're looking at. <laughs> So this is a romper that's like the divinity style from a uh, from Wilfred But this one is from Ardeen and I have like little sleeves. So actually let me see if I can show you guys that So that's what it looks like. It's like a little romper set which I wear at night I like wearing black at night. So yeah, let's see if that's a better Yeah, okay, and then a heat tech from Uniqlo in a size small for snowboarding I love this one. This one's really cute. So this is Banana Republic and this is cashmere and I thrifted this. This was $13 guys. Like it's so freaking cute. Like this colorway, it's a box cut and it has short sleeves and it's beige and cream and it's cashmere and it's soft. Like this was such a gem, such a find. Then more leggings. These are from TNA and then I think these are my champion leggings in the ribbed material. Yes, in the ribbed material. Where's the little logo? Then I have a romper. So this is the black romper that I ended up picking up during Black Friday of last year. It has the little logo there with the crisscross. It's so cute. It's freaking cute. I actually wear this one a lot in the summer because it's the shorts version. I thought I'd wear it more at home, but I don't really wear these little rompers at home, to be honest. And then I have another line long sleeve from Lululemon. A furry little sweater from H&M. Another little beige Turner Taupe romper from... This one's the Shake It romper from TNA and the Turner Taupe. I love it a lot. I really wish I got the thin strap. I don't really like this thick strap. It's not very flattering, so lesson learned. Then power leggings from Old Navy. Ribbed leggings in the Turner Taupe colorway from 90 Degrees. Uh, actual Turner taupe leggings from Aritzia, beige leggings from Uniqlo, matte pearl colorway from Ardeen. This one is very old and she's still going strong. I love her a lot. Um, so I'm still keeping her and it's actually worn very well even though it's like Ardeen basics in the cotton. It's held up beautifully. Then I have another cozy wozy type of sweater. This one is from Muji. Those like those viral cozy wozy uh, sweaters from, sorry, not Muji, from Uniqlo. Then a PR package from Roa's in this very Chanel-esque type of sweater. I like wearing this a lot when I'm at work. Another net polo with the little dragon lion logo. Another Nobo with, I, I upcycled my Allister sweater. I turned it into Bolero, so with stripes. So I figured that could be a set together. Then I have my oversized men's medium champion that I cropped into a crop top and I love it a lot. Then I have another champion cozy fleece sweater, which I wear with the with the pants. Empty hook. Then a cozy type of another one of these. I clearly have a type. So this is the Uniqlo small Muji. More PR packages. A Chanel set, which is a PR package from Roa's. 
and my white beige dress which you guys know that i wear a lot but it's uh, winter now so i'm not wearing it and then down here i have just like black clothes that i don't really wear much anymore and then some just like miscellaneous stuff all my stripey sweaters are here and then my gray sweaters are here i hate gunmetal gray i i probably will have to do another declutter so this little section over here is also mine. I know I have a lot of clothes. That's okay. <laughs> so over here, this is Will's section and this is my section. So over here, I have like some more. So this is where I keep my beige tone Turner Taupe colorways together. Sometimes I'll have like some random stuff. Like earlier today, I was wearing this. So that's why it's over here. Normally it would be over there, but um, it is what it is. So let me show you guys what I have over here. So I have this really cute little gray shirt from Muji in a size small. So that's that. I also have this from Muji, it's this very beautiful cropped like three quarter length cardigan. Then I have the olive taupe from Aritzia in leggings. Then I have this really cute little romper that I wear as pajamas, this little white little romper. And this is actually from Ardeen. It was like, like I think less than $10, maybe $10. And I freaking love it. So cute. Reminds me a lot of the dividend romper from Wilfred. Then I have my, another of the cozy fleeces. Yeah, another cozy fleece in the colorway haze gray. And I have it in a set. I have it in the shorts, but not in the long pants because i feel like it's a more summery vibe then i also have this one this is my uniqlo sweater that i wear for work all the time you can see how well loved that is i roll up the sleeves and i just get to work in this thing this is like my beater type of jacket then i have my lululemon scuba in the oversize in the full zip in the classic black so it is in the medium large because i love it super 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 oversized so i bought this last year for black friday so yeah then I have a cute little, oh, you can't even see it. I have a cute little bralette from American Eagle, which I like to pair these together. That's why they're together. I'll be wearing that later. And then I have my other scuba. I bought these together. This one is, it's literally the exact same one. It's just a different colorway. And this one is in the heathered white, I think is the colorway. Love these a lot. I'm obsessed. I wear these at night after I take a shower and I just feel so fresh. Then down here, I have my Black Friday shoppings, which I haven't opened yet. I'll probably open that for Christmas. I have this oversized sweater that my dad gave me he knows that i love white so he got me this and like it has a little bit of logoing on it but like who cares when it's a gift from your dad it's just like it's everything then down here i have more stuff i'm like i'm actually kind of embarrassed by how much stuff i have like maybe i do have a problem i'm working on it guys i'm working on it so here we have another pair of leggings these are in the matte pearl these are my favorite leggings love them a lot i wear them a lot you guys, guys can see that she's gotten quite a lot of love then i have matte pearl colorway and this is from muji yeah in a size medium then i have a define long sleeve from lululemon then i have oh, over here an ortet's crop in the white heathered just like a beige bralette jacket I think I just have to go faster at this point. A sweater from Champion, Joe Fresh sweater. Yeah, I just show you guys. It's just like all like my beige stuff. I'll just show you pieces that like I really love. Banana Republic sweater and then a turtleneck from Muji. Okay, so there you have it. You guys can see why I felt like I was able to do a very ruthless declutter, two of them, because I really do have an abundance of clothes. I've been so blessed in these previous like year or so. I've gotten a lot of PR packages. I've bought a lot of things. Like I'm really financially stable. So because of that, I just felt like... I can finally enter a curating era where I can let go of ratty pieces and enjoy my new pieces. I probably won't do another Ruthless Declutter for some time, but I just kind of wanted to share the process with you guys, where I'm at, the abundance in my life, and hopefully 2024 is a year where I kind of want to like curate stuff and let go of some more older and ratty pieces. So I'll definitely be taking you guys along with me for that. So yeah, thank you so much for taking the time to watch and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!